Welcome to the Merle on the Move radio show. I am Merle on the Move. Let's go ahead and get started on this Saturday evening. It's the October 2nd, first show of October. So fall is here. You know, that's what it is. Fall is here. So I want to go ahead and get straight into it. I'm going to go over the scores and sports because uh, last week was a big week for us. When I say us, I'm talking about the Rams fans, the Los Angeles Rams fans. We'll talk about that in a minute. And uh, But let's go over Iowa State in Iowa. So, um... Iowa State played today here in Ames, big game here. They was playing Kansas, University of Kansas, the Jayhawks. And uh, it was here in town. And the uh, Iowa State Cyclones record is 2-2 two and two currently is where they sit. And uh, they blew Kansas out. Oh, man, like 54, 53. I think I've seen the last score being. Uh, but, yeah, they, they knocked them off quick. Defense, offense, passing, they was doing their thing. So shout out to Iowa State. They're going to be kicking it here in town tonight, I'm sure. So that gives their record three and two. That's a conference win for them. So that looks good for them. Also in the conference, uh, Baylor, who just beat them last week, uh, who was three and zero, uh, look like they're going to lose today. So uh, that that help Iowa State a little bit right there. But uh, Iowa, Iowa also had a big game. Um, they beat Maryland. Um, that's in their division. That's a conference game for them. So they beat Maryland today. Uh, I believe the score is like forty something, something like that. Big score. They look good. So shout out to the local college teams here in town. So uh, that being said, let's go ahead and move around to this NFL. So I'm going to talk about the games. So last, last week, Sunday, I talked about how Tom Brady was going all the way to the West Coast to play those Los Angeles Rams. First time he played the Rams in Los Angeles. Uh, and it didn't work out too good for Tom Brady. <laughs> Them Rams was on point. It was a good game. I watched it. Uh, anytime, this is what I said. I was talking to my cousin, Silla, while I was watching the game. And uh, this is what I told him. I said, um, the way to beat the, the GOAT, this is how you beat the GOAT. You keep him on the sideline. You don't give Tom Brady chances to do what he do. Don't give him the opportunities. Because if you give him the opportunities, he's going to take advantage of those opportunities. He's going to win. He's going to score, I should say. I would say he's going to score, right? He's going to do what he does. He's a GOAT. And that's what the Rams did. They kept him on the sideline. Shout out to Matt Strafford. Because when he first, in the first quarter, I thought it was going to be an interception. He threw, the, threw a pass. And the guy, uh, it was in his hands. I forgot who the Tampa Bay defensive back it was. But it was in, he didn't catch it. If he would have caught that ball and been an interception, that probably would have turned the game around. It would been a different output. Um, but he didn't catch it. Strafford settled down. Got that win. So shout out to that. The Cowboys played on Monday night. Uh, looked good. They played the Eagles. Uh, that quarterback for the Eagles. I feel sorry for the kid. I think he he may turn out to be good. They give him a chance, you know, but he ain't ready. Fields, I think that's his name. No, that's the Chicago Bears quarterback, Justin Fields. Uh, I forget the quarterback's name for Philadelphia, but no. It's going to be hard for you, bro. Uh, Cowboys won, so that looked good. Dak looked good. Uh, Zeke looked good. Defense looked good. Shout out to uh, my man Diggs, Trayvon Diggs, dope. I watched him in the uh, the series they had. I knew he was pretty good there. Um, this week, big games going on this week. The Rams is playing the Cardinals. Cardinals won last week. I don't think the Cardinals have lost. So the Rams playing the Cardinals going to be a big game. Uh, the Cowboys, who are they playing? Uh, Tom Brady. Tom Brady is playing the Patriots. He's going back to the Patriots. He just lost from the Rams. He's supposed to bounce back. He's a big favorite. But Tom Blue did an interview the other day. He looked sick. He didn't look too good. So, I don't know what's up with Tom Brady, but he's the GOAT, definitely. Um, I got a, I got a smooth cop. Speaking of sports, uh, I'm a big sneakerhead. If you didn't know, you're Merlin the Move. I'm a big time sneakerhead. I got a, a dope sneaker collection. A um, lot of Jordans, a lot of retros. That's all I buy. You know, it's retro Jordans. I'm saying that's all I buy. When I buy Jordans, I only buy retro Jordans. Don't buy. Team Jordan, <laughs> Team Jordan Fusions. I mean, none of that stuff. I get retros. If Jordan didn't wear them, I don't buy. Them. Uh, but I got a lot of different colorways. I do buy other shoes. I buy Pumas. Shout out to Nipsey. God rest the dead. A lot of Pumas lately. But uh, I, I got a smooth cop. Um, I got those 13 the Obsidians. And then, so on a Friday before the Obsidians dropped, the, the 11s dropped, right? 
I was able to get both pair. Not the same day, but double back, went to the mall. Two weeks later, boom, got the lights. So anyway, that's happening. <laughs> if you didn't know that. And I bring that up is uh, because uh, LeBron. Um, it's a lot of, it's been a lot of uh, talk about, like, goatism, right? Yeah, Tom Brady was considered a goat. Of course, Michael Jordan has uh, solidified. I think that's when the, the term goat got started when, with Jordan, right? But um, he did a Michael Jordan did an interview with Steph Curry. I seen it on YouTube. I forgot who recorded, but I seen an interview that Michael Jordan did with Steph Curry. Now this interview, I think Jordan did it with Steph because it wasn't about basketball. The interview he did was about golf. All right, because Steph plays golf. Jordan is a big time golfer, and uh, so yeah, he sat down and talked. They was at the golf course outside when they did the interview. That's pretty dope, you know. He kind of talked about. His, uh, his love of golf and the comparisons and the blah, 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 blah. That was pretty dope. So uh, when I come back, uh, I think that's all I got in sports. Oh, shut up my Cardinals. Oh, man, my Cardinals is beating the, uh, the Cubs right now. Uh, and uh, we play. Uh, we, we already made the playoffs. Shout out to my Cardinals made the playoffs. And the Cubs ain't. We just, you know, dusting them off at the end. Anytime we can beat the Cubs is always great. But uh, we start the playoffs this week coming. Uh, I think we're playing the Dodgers. So I think it's a runoff, a one-off. So either the Cubs, I mean, either the Dodgers win and move on or the Cardinals win and move on. But, you know, soon be my Red Birds. So we do. Cardinal Nation over here, baby. Cardinal Nation. <laughs> anyway, uh, that's all I got for sports. I come back. I'm going to go over a lot of it. Uh, I'm talking about this uh, Wu-Tang series. I'm going to talk about BMF, you know, that came out. I seen it. I'm going to talk about that. 50 did some interviews. He did an interview with Jalen Rose. I'm going to talk about that. I'm going to talk about Nick Cannon. He did an interview on Drink Channels with Nori. Uh, talked about Kim Kardashian. I did not know that Nick Cannon dated Kim Kardashian right after the Ray J tape. And he didn't know about the Ray J tape when he was dating Kim Kardashian. And he seen Ray J on the street. And Ray J say, yo, you might not want to be holding her hand after you see this video that dropped. Right? And he asked Nick Cannon, asked Kim about it, and she denied it, denied it, denied it. And then it came out why he was still dating Kim Kardashian. I can't, I, I don't have to say allegedly because Nick Cannon said it on the Drink Jim podcast. So when I come back, I'm going to talk about that. Uh, of course, uh, one of my themes and topics I'm really going to dig in tonight is critical race, critical race theory. Okay. Uh, the Ankeny Public School District had a big meeting this past week uh, about. I invited a professor from Iowa State to come down and talk to the parents about what critical race theory is and some of the misconceptions behind it. I didn't watch Charlemagne's show because uh, he's going to be talking about that a little bit. And I was already going to talk about this, so I didn't watch his show this week. because I want to be fresh on my thoughts, so I will watch it later on to see what I'm doing. But anyway, I'm going to talk about that. That's my big thing I'm going to really go over. Uh, also talk about how the government almost shut down, but they extended the credit line and, you know, I'm going to get into it, but that's my big thing I'm going to go over tonight, that critical race theory. And also, I'm going to talk about the, the little boy, uh, talk about the body that they found. Remember, last week, listen to the show, I talked about Xavier, uh, the little kid that was missing. Well, this week, I think it was Thursday, they found some remains of a youth. I'm going to go over that story, have some notes on that. Talk about that a little bit. I think more on the move is on it. You know, anything I can do to help the community, I'm not saying I'm responsible or did anything about it, but I did bring that up last Saturday, how they ain't been found, they, they ain't looking for this little boy. And ain't making no noise about it. And then four or five days after I report that on the show, they find something. And they think it's the little boy. So I'm coming back and talk about that. It's Merlin on the Move. I'm playing some more fresh music. Uh, talk about music albums that dropped. Meek Mill album. That's the first two songs I played. It was a new, off that new Meek Mill album. So, uh, but anyway, it's Merlin on the Move. I'll be right back. He just more like a loose. Yeah. Right on me like a hoot. Yeah. I've been feeling like. I've been feeling like. Four five on the five on four. Bad, bad. Do my mission with a meal. From big to G, I can write a little much. No. Young, still grinding on the mop. I've been feeling like. Huh. I've been feeling like that. Yeah. Let me get my back.